What's up guys, my name is JD Cook 5 and welcome back to an episode of our player reviews that we're going to be doing throughout of EAFC 24. The first one is the GOAT, Lionel Messi. As before, we're going to run you through these stats, show you some clips and then we're going to talk about him just afterwards. In terms of the stats wise, he's got 80 pace, 87 sh shots, 90 passing, 94 dribbling and then the worst stats of the defending physical 33 and 64. He displays a 4 star, 4 star with a low, low work rate. So so a decent card in terms of what we still got available is a high rated card so he's kept his rating that is for sure. Looking at his alternative positions he's got a cam and certain striker his preferred position of a centre forward so no wing options for Messi this season, this year bearing in mind on previous games he has had a winger option or he has actually solely just been a winger and not been up front. Going into detail he still is the GOAT. Just look at those stats that we have got available here. Decent pace still. He's still got 80 pace. I'll go into the play styles in a minute and see what that kind of upgrades it also but the Finishing sides, I think 89, 91 attacking position, 86 volleys, 93 curve, 90 long passing, 91 shot. I mean, it is, yeah, it is crazy realistically. Composure 96, dribbling 96, ball control 93. The only thing that really lets him down in this sort of card is his stamina and his strength. But overall, he's still got an amazing card. Bearing in mind, he's in the MLS now and he's not exactly at the height of where he was previously in his career. But we all know what he's capable of. And it's nice to see him still have a high rating of 90 they haven't plummeted him too much and the actual cost of himself is, is quite decent as well still at the moment he's valuing on the market for a price of 152,000 so that might have gone down previously and obviously it will fluctuate with the market and previously now we're on the uh, the early access game but then it's going to be the case of where it's uh, going to be going up on the 29th of September as I was saying we do have another thing with the play styles this year so we're going to be looking in the play styles and see what kind of that gives a player because the decent play style within the player really gives some, some sort of good attributes to it so we're just going to run through there and as you can see we've got the scoring in terms of he's got his finesse shot and obviously these, these are the things so the blank things are the ones he hasn't got and the kind of solid white is what he has got so he's got a dead ball trait there as you can see he's got two on the passing none on defending but that's expected in all honesty on a card of this sort of caliber but he's got really decent passing he's got some stars to go he's got the ticky tacker so it depends on what play style you like and the one that's really good for him is a technical ball control so it's reaches even higher speed when performing controlled sprint and performs wide turns with dribbling with a greater precision really really good and it fills that in the game and you can see that massively so in terms of the running sides of him he's not too bad and, and that will kind of aid it also so we're going to show you these clips and then we're going to talk about him afterwards
the show, I need these clips. We're going to talk about a few things I did and didn't like about this card. This card overall is an absolute just unbelievable card I still think in this sort of era of FIFA or EAFC may I say he's going to be a decent card to use and especially at the moment if you're in the low divisions from where you've literally just started he can breeze you through that I feel like a one man team he honestly controls everything going into a bit more depth of what I like the shooting dribbling passing ball control and agility the shooting sides of things he barely misses he's so accurate it's brilliant you know in front of goal he can really provide you some decent goals that is for sure the dribbling aspects is really good. The ball stays tight, stays tight to his feet. Sorry, it's for good to kind of going past defenders. The manoeuvres are really quick, and he feels really agile. Max Murray's agility comes into it also, and he just breezes past players. The passing side, he's a really good kind of player to be able to offload balls long and short, and it really helps depending on what position you play him in. Obviously, if you do play him in that cam roll, you will kind of have it where passing does be a good thing for him, and it's just something that really helps with his gameplay. But overall, this is a brilliant card. To to use that is for sure the only cons are the physical sides he is very small and obviously the physical sides do make an aspect with some of the defenders that you do come up against this year bearing in mind with that being that the case it does kind of falter in some aspects but in all honesty it doesn't matter too much with how he kind of provides every kind of good decent attribute in the game it's not so bad after all and the only thing i say it was the stamina i think it's just one of those where he nearer to the game he is kind of puffed out but he's still a big impact that is for sure the only thing otherwise would be his links. Obviously, there's not going to be as much of him being in MLS, but there is a lot of Argentinian players that are decent in the uh, ultimate team sides of things that would be a good link up. And his price is still decent in honesty for what you get. So I hope you guys enjoyed this player review. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. Cheers.